If you're familiar with U.S. history or politics, you've likely heard plenty of debates about the best and worst presidents. But what about the smartest? In this video, we'll take a look at the smartest U.S. presidents according to their IQ. Of course, it's worth acknowledging IQ is just one measure of intelligence and it's not without its controversy or limitations. So join Facts First as we present U.S. presidents ranked by IQ. And it's not even close. Number 10. Abraham Lincoln 150 IQ Abraham might be ranked last on our list by IQ, but don't be fooled, he's far from the least intelligent commander-in-chief. In fact, that dubious distinction goes to his successor, Andrew Johnson. Despite ranking 10th, Lincoln was truly remarkable and overcame numerous obstacles to become one of America's greatest leaders. He had very little formal education, with only a year of formal schooling under his belt. But he was a voracious reader and a self-taught student of history, politics, and law. He eventually became a successful lawyer and was known for his sharp wit and eloquence. As president, Lincoln faced some of the most daunting challenges in U.S. history, including the Civil War and the fight to abolish slavery. He was a gifted orator and gave many memorable speeches, but none more so than the Gettysburg Address, which is widely regarded as one of the most important speeches in American history. His life was tragically cut short when he was assassinated in 1865, a month before the end of the Civil War. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, 150.5 Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who served as U.S. President for an unprecedented 12 years, was no slouch in the Intelligence Department, with an IQ of 150.5. Prior to his political career, he attended Harvard and later went on to study law at Columbia. He also served as an assistant secretary of the Navy under President Wilson. As president, he faced some of the most monumental challenges in U.S. history, including the Great Depression and World War II. He responded with a series of sweeping reforms, known as the New Deal, which aimed to stimulate the economy and provide relief for those most affected by the Depression. This included the creation of programs like the Social Security Act, which still provides support for millions of Americans today. Roosevelt's leadership during World War II was also critical to the Allies' eventual victory. He famously declared war on Japan after the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, and worked closely with other world leaders to coordinate military efforts and diplomatic strategies. Throughout his presidency, he battled numerous health problems, most notably his struggle with polio, which left him paralyzed from the waist down. Barack Obama, 155 Barack Obama, the 44th president of the U.S., is widely regarded as one of the most intelligent and articulate leaders in recent memory. With an estimated IQ of 155, Obama is a well-educated individual with degrees from both Columbia and Harvard Law School. Before entering politics, he worked as a community organizer, civil rights attorney, and constitutional law professor. During his two terms in office, Obama faced a wide range of challenges from the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis to the ongoing fight against terrorism. He also championed several landmark pieces of legislation, including the Affordable Care Act, which expanded access to health care for millions of Americans. Obama's presidency was marked by his eloquent speeches and his ability to inspire and connect with people from all walks of life. John Adams, 155 John Adams, the second president of the United States, is often overshadowed by his more famous contemporaries like George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. But Adams was a luminous thinker in his own right, with an IQ estimated to be around 155. He was born in Massachusetts in 1735 and went on to study at Harvard. He became a successful lawyer and played a key role in the American Revolution, serving as a delegate to the Continental Congress and helping to draft the Declaration of Independence. In 1797, he was elected president, succeeding George Washington. During his presidency, he faced a number of significant challenges, including tensions with France and the passage of the controversial Alien and Sedition Acts, which restricted civil liberties. Despite these challenges, Adams was a highly effective leader who worked tirelessly to uphold the principles of the Constitution. He played a pivotal role in the establishment of the U.S. Navy, which helped protect American interests at sea. After serving a single term, he was defeated by his political rival, Thomas Jefferson, in the 1800 election. James Madison, 155 James Madison, the fourth president, is often referred to as the father of the Constitution. 
Madison was also a brilliant political theorist and writer, with an IQ estimated at around 155. He was born in Virginia in 1751 and attended the College of New Jersey, now Princeton, and became involved in politics at an early age. He played a key role in the American Revolution, serving in the Virginia State Legislature and as a delegate to the Continental Congress. In 1787, he was a driving force behind the Constitutional Convention, which produced the U.S. Constitution. He's also credited with helping shape many of the document's key provisions, including the separation of power, the Bill of Rights, and the system of checks and balances. Jimmy Carter, 156.8 it's estimated that Jimmy Carter, our 39th president, had a relatively high IQ of 156.8. Carter was born in Georgia in 1924 and attended the U.S. Naval Academy before serving in the Navy during World War II. After leaving the military, he earned degrees in engineering and physics from Georgia Tech and became a successful peanut farmer. Carter's political career began in the 60s when he served in the Georgia State Senate and later as the state's governor. In 1976, he was elected president, defeating incumbent Gerald Ford. Throughout his presidency, Carter faced challenges like the energy crisis, the Iranian hostage crisis, and economic stagflation. He remained committed to promoting human rights and social justice domestically and abroad, including his efforts to broker peace between Israel and Egypt. Bill Clinton, 159 with an estimated IQ of 159, Bill Clinton is often regarded as one of the most intellectually gifted presidents in American history. Born and raised in Arkansas, Clinton pursued his education at Georgetown, Oxford, and Yale, where he met his future wife and fellow law student Hillary Rodham. Clinton began his political career in Arkansas, serving as the state's attorney general and then its governor. He was elected president in 1992, defeating incumbent George H.W. Bush in a close race. During his time in office, he achieved several significant policy accomplishments, including the signing of the North American Free Trade Agreement. In 1998, he became only the second president in U.S. history to be impeached by the House of Representatives following allegations of perjury and obstruction of justice with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. John F. Kennedy, 160 Despite having a childhood reputation as a poor student, John F. Kennedy's IQ was measured just about 160. He eventually turned his academic performance around and graduated from Harvard in 1940. During the Second World War, he served in the Navy and was awarded a Purple Heart for his heroic actions in the South Pacific. After being elected to both the House and the Senate, he became the second youngest president in history, as well as the first Catholic president. His presidency was marked by significant events like the Cuban Missile Crisis and Bay of Pigs invasion, but he also created the Peace Corps and was instrumental in passing the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Thomas Jefferson, 160. Thomas Jefferson was widely regarded as an intelligent man. He was a polymath who excelled in various fields like law, politics, agriculture, architecture, and philosophy. He was one of the most important founding fathers and is known for his role in drafting the Declaration of Independence. He also served as the third president and made significant contributions to the development of the country's political system, including the expansion of the U.S. through the Louisiana Purchase. He was an avid reader and scholar and founded the University of Virginia, which was based on his ideas of liberal education. John Quincy Adams, 175 John Quincy Adams, a Harvard graduate, boasts the highest estimated IQ of all U.S. presidents, with a score of 175. He traveled extensively and learned seven languages. Despite not finishing law school, he excelled as a lawyer. Notably, Adams served as Secretary of State for President James Monroe and played a key role in shaping the Monroe Doctrine and negotiating the end of the War of 1812. His impressive public speaking skills earned him the nickname Old Man Eloquent, and he's even regarded as one of the most physically fit presidents in history. Now it's time to hear from you. Which president were you most surprised was on this list? Which president were you surprised was not on it? Let us know in the comments section below.